Welcome to the Decision Space Production Monitoring. This video provides an overview of the asset monitoring workflow. Monitoring of wells and reservoirs is an important aspect of asset development and management. The production monitoring workflow allows view, relate, and analyze reservoir and asset production data through established engineering, analysis, and visualization tools. The collection and monitoring of asset-wide as well as single well data assists in achieving short-term production targets and long-term production objectives. Well reservoir monitoring facilitates early detection of potential issues and provides diagnostic tools to identify the causes. The early intervention helps to reduce risk and increase operation efficiency. Launch Decision Space Production Monitoring. From the Applications menu, select DSPM. This is the default window. It is divided into three web parts, sync dates, asset hierarchy tree view, and the base map. In the sync dates web part, the current date displays. One way to change the dates is to select relative date. Click the dropdown for a list of relative dates. Select the relative last one year item. Another way is to select the calendar date. Type a date or select the start date dropdown and a calendar displays. Use the sidebar arrows to move to the correct month or just click a date. In the end date field, you can also type the date or select it from a calendar. To synchronize the date in all web parts, click send data. The asset hierarchy web part provides a tree view of all wells and facilities. It is customized for your needs. In this example, double click the US. Now, click Texas. The field map displays a lot of assets. You can adjust the map scale with the slider. The arrow on the left side of the map opens the tools. The top tab contains the layer tools. The top tab lets you select assets, clear, and zoom. Other tools are a spatial filler, symbology, execute query, and histogram. Symbology is where you can change the shape and color of the map's assets. The table of contents tab shows that the blue assets are wells, the brown assets are facilities. The map style is called world imagery. Select the arrow to close. Select the drop-down at the top of the base map. For information about all the base map tools, see the Decision Space Production Monitoring Base Map Tools help topic. Click the Base Maps button. Scroll and select an image such as streets. Use the slider to zoom. Select a well. The pop-up has well identifying information. Select the well monitoring workflow. The asset monitoring screen displays. Check the dates and click Send Data if necessary. The tree view is now an asset hierarchy of all wells in the area. Double-click a well. Now, double-click the completion. The web parts load. In the well header web part, identifying information displays. All well tests display for the date range. There are two pages and seven tests. To narrow down the test data, select the filter icon. From the drop-down, select the operator. Enter a value. Click Filter to see the results. To see the next page of tests, select the 2 icon. The monthly and daily production volumes display in chart view. To change the dates, click the calendar icon. From the calendar, select the date. This is the chart view. Select the data view. From the data view, you can export data to Excel. Scroll down. The well diagram displays. On this example, both casing pressure and temperature are displayed. Well production data for gas, oil, and water displays. Again, you can select the date range and chart or data view. Lastly, well events are displayed. There are many pages and 150 items. The data can be sorted by date and each column can be filtered. Remember, all web parts can be customized to your needs. Thank you for watching. If you'd like more information on this or any of our products, please visit our website at landmarksoftware.com.